What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. The draw for the men's and women's singles tournament at the 2011 French Open is set, and it doesn't look like the top players will have an easy journey. Rafael Nadal picked for the women's draw, and former titleist Anna Ivanovic pulled the opponents for the men. Nadal will face off with American and world number 39, John Isner, no easy first opponent. If Rafa wins the final this year, he will be tying with legend Bjorn Borg. He has the potential to meet Nikolai Davidenko in the third round, 15th seed Fernando Verdasco, who faces Juan Monaco first in the fourth round, and the potential 2009 rematch with Robin Soderling in the quarters. Roger Federer has no easier path meeting with world number 41 Feliciano Lopez in the first round. Lopez made it to the finals in Belgrade this year, but lost to Novak Djokovic and is 11-5 wins to losses on clay, compared to Federer's, who is 6-3 wins to losses on clay. He may also have to meet Nole in the semis. Speaking of the man on fire at 39-0 in 2011, Novak Djokovic meets Vimo Debacker, the world number 71. He could potentially face Juan Martin Del Potro in the third round and potentially Richard Gasquet in the fourth. He's bidding to threaten John McEnroe's start to the season, who went 42-0 in 1984 before losing here at the French to his rival, Yvonne Lindell, in the final. McEnroe commented on Djokovic saying, Records are made to be broken. It's the definition of mixed emotions. I think I've pretty much lost every record that I had, but at the same time, I know that this has been a shot in the arm for our sport. Andy Murray is in Nadal's half of the draw, but the number four seed will face qualifiers in the first and second rounds. In the women's draw, number one seed Caroline Wozniacki will face 40-year-old Kimiko Datekrom in the first, but could face the 2010 finalist Sam Stosser in the quarters, then Francesca Schiavone, who will meet Melanie Udan first in the semis. Kim Kleitzers is back with no play on the clay yet, but still is recovering from an ankle injury and will play world number 100, Anastasia Yakimova. She could have a round of 16 meeting with Andrea Petkovic, followed by a meeting with Rome winner Maria Sharapova, who also has a comfortable bracket in the quarters. Samantha Stoster perhaps has the toughest draw of the women. The Australian number eight is seated to face lefty Aveta Benesova in the opener. Vera Zvonareva meets Spaniard Lourdes Domingo Lino first for another difficult match. Moving on, Forbes released their annual celebrity top 100 list on Wednesday, and it includes five tennis players. Although he isn't ranked number one in the world, Roger Federer is still the top ranked tennis celebrity. He made number 25 on the list above even David Beckham, and he has the highest rank for press exposure of the entire list. Rafael Nadal is next at number 46, Maria Sharapova is 80th, and Serena and Venus Williams are ranked 84th and 86th. Now the way they determine someone's place in the list is they look at income, media exposure, and how actively people follow them on social networks. Interestingly, with five players in the list, tennis is the most represented sport. So who did Forbes think was the top celebrity of last year? Let's take a guess, Lady Gaga. Play continues at the pre-French Open warm-up events today. The men are playing in Nice and the World Team Cup in Germany, while the women are in Brussels and Strasbourg. In Nice, Spain's Nicolas Almagro continued his fine play on clay by beating Thomas Burditch 6-4, 6-4 in the semifinals. In the final, he'll play Victor Henescu, who upset Alexander Dolgopolov 6-3, 6-3. If Almagro wins, he'll have three titles on clay this year, the most of anyone at the French Open. Meanwhile, Germany won its two singles matches against Russia and will play Argentina in the World Team Cup in Dusseldorf. On the WTA Tour, Wozniacki is in the final of the Brussels Open after she defeated Francesca Schiavone in three sets. She'll play eight-seeded Peng Shui, who beat Vera Zvonareva in the semifinal. And in Strasbourg, Marianne Bartoli beat Annabelle Medina Garrigues 6162, and she'll play Andrea Petkovic in the final. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel, clicking that button right up there, and also take time to comment below and tell us who your picks for the French Open are. The men's and women's draws are extremely open and extremely exciting. We'll be covering the French Open throughout next week. You'll be getting news updates every single day. Be sure to subscribe so you get all of those. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you on Sunday.